Hi guys, it's Ava Burton and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to a Mana Skin concert and I'm very, very, very excited. And I need to get ready because we're leaving in like two hours. And I'm not going looking like this. And I'm also not going wearing my Amber Mark merch. As much as I love you, Amber Mark. Like, don't get me wrong. I still cannot believe I flipping met her. I am... She's the first, like, celebrity I've ever met. I lost my mind. I so lost my mind. And I came down with COVID the next day. And so then I, like, freaked out. And I monitored her Instagram for, like, weeks to be, like... Like, I was like, oh my god, what if she gets COVID for me? Like, oh my gosh, like, what What if I give her a COVID and then that's why other people can't go see her in concert? I would feel so bad. She never got it, though. It's like, okay. Phew. But, um, yeah, and then I got this, I ordered this hoodie. It's, like, one of the nicest quality hoodies, too, and I love the arm. I'm getting completely sidetracked. I was talking about my skin. Not Amber Mark, Sorry. And it works amazing. I have a whole video of me getting ready for her concert. It's called Concert Prep. But let's go. So this is my mirror. I love this mirror. I got it. So my friend was moving and I was helping her move. And she was going to throw this away. And it's super cool. And I was like, I don't have a full body mirror. It'd be awesome. And so then I came home and I covered it in stickers. Give it some personality. And the best part is it locks, right? So immediately, like... Because it's a jewelry armoire on the inside, it locks. So if I go out of town or whatever, it has a key. I lock all my expensive stuff in there, which is already in there. Because this thing is like freaking huge. So we got all these earrings. We got rings that like I could fill this whole thing. I don't have a lot of rings. Um, some cash, <laughs> face masks, skincare, um, makeup, sunglasses, necklaces. Like literally everything I own fit in here, and I I love it so much. But um, let me actually start getting dressed now. My hair up because I need to wash my face and do my skincare. I think I might do a face mask too so that my skin is really glowy and beautiful if I get a picture with one of the members or all the members of Mana Skin. Did that just break? Did it just crawl? It broke! See? Ah! Mm, I need to return this. I guess I'm getting my $8 back. I, um... My videos have been flopping on YouTube recently, and I've actually told people this before because it's like, basically, my TikToks will flop if my and my TikToks and YouTubes will flop if my Instagram's like being like really boisterous and pumping. But then it will switch, and it's like if my TikToks are being successful, Instagram and YouTube are done. Like nothing's happening on them, and if then my YouTube's being successful, like those things happen too. It's like I only get one. But like honestly, if I could pick one to have be the most successful, I'd pick YouTube because I don't know, like it's like about YouTube being successful makes me feel like I could actually make it. When my YouTube's flopping, like my last video got four views, that really hurt. <laughs> I was like, that because they take so much more time too. Like you edit an Instagram photo or even if you just put a post up and it gets like 13, 14 likes. That's like my average right now. Um, I'm like, okay, that's good, that's fine. I didn't take very much time, but like a YouTube video getting four views after spending like two hours making it, I'm like, that's sad. All right, I'm gonna not even say what I'm using because I use the same products in every video. Just check if you're subscribed, please. I, I like making YouTube videos, but I really don't like that no one cares that I like that. I am gonna do a face mask. Like, I never understand. Should I do toner and then a face mask or face mask and then toner? Because I feel like if you put the toner on and then put a face mask on, you're washing off the toner when you wash off the face mask. So I guess you do the face mask first. I just answered my own question. That was nice. Okay, I'm going to do this one. It is the Superfoods K Bella Acai Blueberry Mask. I need a headband though. Hold up. So what did I gossip about? I was also trying to figure out, okay, so my, <laughs> ignore my hair right now. Um, It's never been this bad, but okay, back to our something. I made a YouTube, not YouTube, what the heck am I saying? I made another Instagram account and I got bored with it very fast. Like I, I don't know what it was. I just like, no one was really, and I feel like that's stupid to say, like no one was paying attention to it, so I got bored. But that's not really what it was, but it's like, it's nice to have people like support you and like like your stuff. Cause if they don't, it's like, why am I even putting this up here? AKA subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment 
video and you're subscribed, I will like your comment. Like last fall, my YouTube was so bumping. Like it was so good. Like I have way 20 less subscribers than I do right now. And I was getting like so many views and so many comments. And I had 5,600 views on one of my shorts. And a lot of hate comments that were so like unwarranted and stupid. And I told my mom and she was like, she was like coming up with comebacks for the hate comments on my YouTube. I was, it was hilarious. Like I have never like, like instead of being like, oh, don't listen to them, which like, I know, like don't listen to them. They're stupid. They spend their time watching YouTube shorts and then hate commenting on people. Like what a sad little life they must lead. I just feel bad for them. But one was like, you should go work at Walmart or better or something. It was something about going, quitting music and going to work on at Walmart. And one like, I, this is not gonna be offensive to anyone if you like Walmart. I hate Walmart. I'm a Target shopper. I love Target. I could live in Target. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I know the people that work at my Target. So like, I'm definitely a Target person. So I was like, ew, I don't wanna work at Walmart because even if you like Walmart, you have to admit when you go into Walmart, people look sad. That's the bottom line. I go into Walmart and I feel like I'm not supposed to spread joy. Even if they have like, you know, the Salvation Army outside, I'm like, these people aren't happy. And one time I was in Walmart with my friend and I, she said something, I said something funny, I, guess, I don't know, someone said something, something funny. And I started laughing and she like shushed me and I was like, what, are you not supposed to like laugh in Walmart? Like, is that like a rule? Like, cause I never go to Walmart. So how was I supposed to know? And how am I supposed to fold this? I guess this is all going on my face cause I can't. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes. Okay. Starting now. I um really love watching certain YouTubers videos because they give me so many like, they uplift up and coming YouTubers, if that makes sense. Like my fam, for example, she'll be like, this is what it was like when I started and then how I grew. And it felt really hopeless at some times, but I just kept making videos and it ended up 2.77 million subscribers. And like, I don't really want YouTube to be my full time job. I'm kind of doing a pulling a Conan Gray here where I, I like making vlogs and I like making YouTube videos. And I probably would still even do that if I be, got a record label. But like my goal is to get enough followers that when I release music, people listen to it and then I can get a record deal. And then I can, you know, be like Conan Gray. Cause I love Conan Gray. Ah! I don't know why. And this is really weird. But right now, even with this blue face on, I feel so cute. Like it's so weird. Uh, this is editing Ava here and I'm watching this and I do not think I looked cute. And I think it's weird that I did think that I looked cute because like that girl was just full cringe not cute that wasn't adorable that was just mm. so let me show you my sign that I made for the concert tonight it says Italians are hot with a little heart on fire emoji and a fire emoji I'm really proud of this fire emoji like that looks like a fire I'm proud of the sign um I'm hoping that like, cause what happened when I went to Amber Marks is I was literally pressed up against the stage and I didn't have anything for her to sign. So I got a picture with her and she signed my phone case and then it wore off my phone case in like the next few days. But like, if I bring this and I'm really close to the stage, they could sign my sign. And then I hang this on the wall for the rest of my life because I'd have their autograph. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. Okay, I, oh, I no longer feel cute anymore. That's what you're wondering. The mask is like, it's weird when they, when they go on, ah, when they go on your face and as they like absorb, they go into your skin. I forgot this one's like impossible to get off to. The video was just me washing my face. It was like 10 minutes. Grocery house seem bigger without you next to me. I washed myself in instances like this, and I'm just like, how? How?
do I have a boyfriend? And I do my makeup and I can't really say what I want to do. I kind of just think I'm going to do what I always do. But then I'm like, should I do something better, better than that? Because I don't want to be basic, you know? Oh, yeah. That's what, that's, that's it. But one day you just woke up and I changed your mind. Reminiscing, really missing all those great days that are far away now. Reminiscing the time we had, but it went by so fast, babe. It's far away now. Are you ready for the fit? In three, two, one. Oh, I really like it. Um, I ah I kick shoes. Okay, so I was gonna wear my red Converse, but they're like a bright red, like my nails are. So they didn't really go with the shirt as well. So I decided to go with my black Converse. I got those from Converse.com. They have like the little earth and say "Love your mom" or something like that. Love your mother or whatever. The jeans are from Target. The top is from Target. The jacket is from Target. And um, jewelry is like a really weird combination. I don't know where I got everything, but. The basically it and then I just curled my hair and put some makeup on let's go I'm so excited I'm so excited propped up and i just got really cold for some reason oh okay so basically it's been a couple days since the concert which was amazing no i did not meet any of the members get close enough with them get a picture with them get them to sign the sign but some other really cool things happened i was going to tell y'all before let me just get comfortable in this really loud chair okay before i sign off and i see you guys in the next video so basically, um, I was kind of far back, but not really far back. You saw from the video before. And the concert was amazing. I really cannot wait for them to drop their song, Cool Kids, which was the song that they were playing in that video. It's not yet, out yet. It's going to come out on their new album, Rush, in January. But yeah, it was really awesome. And then during one of the songs, Domino, the lead singer, pointed at my sign and like winked and was like, kind of like that, like a, because it says, you know, Italians are hot. And um, then I was like kind of hoping when I made the sign that like maybe I'd get featured on their Instagram because I'd seen other people's signs on their posts and stuff. And it'd been a couple days and I was like, well, there's there's no sign. So I guess they didn't really post about our location at all. And then they posted a double one with the next location. And I was like on their story and you could, they took a picture and you can see my sign. It's clear as day. And I was like, I just, I'm so happy. So happy. And I also got a really cute t-shirt, which I love. So yeah, that was just kind of the last little things I wanted to tell y'all. But um, like this video, subscribe for more. I'm going to post every Sunday. I'm going to force myself to do that because I kind of am slacking. Because when people aren't really watching it, I don't have the motivation to make more videos. But yeah. I'm going to post a new video every Sunday, uh, whether it's a short or a whole vlog or just like a couple minute video, it's going to come out every Sunday. I post on TikTok every day. You should follow that. 
that's my account and i post on my story on instagram probably every day but not like an actual post those are kind of sporadic but you can check that out there's a lot more amount of skin photos and pictures on my story on instagram uh, on my instagram in general so yeah and you can go find my music on spotify reminiscing the live version which is not on platforms it's the versions on my youtube channel you can find that on here and you can go listen to the actual full song and my other single warning sign on spotify all right, I love you. Bye.